Hey, what's up, guys? Eddie, come on in. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are live. Good morning, guys and girls and friends all over. Who do we got here? Lesson number 17 today, you guys. Gracie Combatives, lesson number 17, leg hook takedown. Kimura from the guard. Paul made it. Mike made it. Jason, Shayla, Nona, Scott. Mark, Shannon, Sandy, what's up? Edson, Matt, Daniela, JJ, who else? Rishab, Adam, Maria, Kevin, William, Daniel, Kerry, Mike, Bernard, what's up, friends? Andrea, Thomas, Tom and Teresa, Doug, Sam, Eleanor, Kenji, Christy, great to see everyone. Thanks for joining us. Let's warm up a little bit and get started. Let me fix this here. We are good to go. All right. Let's have some fun. Eddie's over here. Let's all warm up a little bit, you guys. Today's going to be leg hook takedown and Kimura arm locks. Let's start by laying down. Find some space. Let's roll it out. Beautiful. Join us. Everyone's moving. Massaging your back a little bit. Turn. Use your feet to turn. And hands up by your head. Nice. We're also live on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. If you're at home, you guys, stop watching. Move the coffee table out of the way. Let's work a little bit. Great. Now, everyone lay down right here, both feet on the ground. Look, bridge up. Turn to one shoulder. Keep your shoulder blades active and touch the mat, and then come back down. Hip up. Touch the mat. Shh. Touch the mat. Come back. Hip up. Touch the mat. Shoulder blades tucked and active. Touch. Three more. Two. Two. One. Beautiful. Now from your back, same position. Look at this. Take one of your hands down low by your hip. Make a fist like you're grabbing someone's wrist. Excellent. Sit up on your elbow. Okay. Post you on your feet. Sit up on one elbow and lift your hip off the ground. And then reach in and grab your own wrist. Excellent. Lay back down. Do it again. Sit up. Grab and hip up. Lay back down. Sit up. We're practicing for the Kimura. We're going to see today. Back down. Sit up. Touch and come back. Nice. Two more. One. Nice. Every time you come up, hips up when you reach and grab your own wrist and back. Now switch sides. Grab the wrist, come up the other way, sit up, touch, and come back. Boom. Up, touch, hips up just a little bit. It's going to make it easier for you to lock it up. Hips up, touch, and come back. Hips up, touch, come back. Two more. Touch, come back. Up, touch, come back. Excellent. Everyone on your knees. Both knees, both, both knees on the ground, both fists on the ground. Look, and jump up in base. Both feet land outside your hands. One. Back down. Good. Let's do that 20 times. Go. Two. Three. Base. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Nice. Ten. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Awesome. <laughs> hey, you'll feel it in your shoulders. All right, you guys. Listen, for the standing technique, before we see the leg hook takedown that we're going to cover today from the clinch, let's do a little preparation drill, okay? And that is this drill of squaring up, face the camera. Make sure you give yourself some space. Back up a little bit in your room. Facing the camera. Look, we're going to take a safety step in base, then knees bent. And after you take that step, I want you to bend your knees, put your hands on the ground, and walk forward into your knee position. We're walking into a full mount, okay? And then jump up. Back up, all the way to the wall. So safety step, push that leg out in front. One, change levels, hands, hands, catch yourself in the mount. We're practicing the descent, because once we take the subject down, we gotta make sure we catch ourselves so we don't go crashing into the pavement, crack your elbow, crack your knee. Who cares about the takedown if you break yourself on the way down? One more time. So we're here, safety step, one, change, walk, 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 and go. Now watch this. From here, turn sideways with your left side facing the camera. Left side facing the camera. And what you're gonna do is take one leg, you're gonna hook and sweep their leg. Okay, so I'm gonna hook and turn. And I should pivot slightly towards the camera. So I'm sideways, I hook the leg and I pivot. So I face you guys, one more time. Left side facing the camera, everybody. Look, hook the leg, turn and face. Nice. One more time, hook the leg, turn. Now, after the hook and turn, I'm gonna have you take that step, watch me first. So I hook and turn and then I step, change, walk, 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 hands and knees, go. Everybody, hook turn and walk it down. Great, Shayla. Good, Matt. Good, Carrie. Let's do it again. Sideways to the camera. So left side face the camera. Hook and pivot. Safety step. 
Change, walk, 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 and go. Nice. Last one, and then we'll see the technique. So we're here, side to the camera. Everybody hook, turn, safety step, change, walk, walk, go, go. Nice, Austin. Perfect, Nona. Excellent, Scott. We're doing it. Good, Daniela. Now watch this with Eddie here. So the situation is as follows. You get into a fight. You want to avoid the knockout. So what do you do? You keep your distance. You stay at least two arm lengths away. So this person can't reach you. What's going to happen? Either A, you're going to eventually back into a wall, or B, they're going to rush you aggressively. In either case, we don't want that outcome. So instead, we go into the strike. So as he attacks, we protect our heavy step in. And from the clinch, we're going to wrap the person's body. Look, deep wrap, grabbing our own wrist and pulling our hips in. Okay, this is going to keep us from being at the distance that he needs us to be knocked out. If Eddie wants to knock me out, it's right here. Full extension, maximum power connected to the ground. But from here, even if he hits me, they're not going to be knockout punches because they're arm punches. So I'm close in that clinch. And then from this close clinch, he's going to try to push away. He's going to follow with control. And then eventually, I hook, I safety step, I release, and we come into that full mount. Hook stand, hip pressure, full mount. Okay? One more time. He's up. So we're keeping the distance. He's going to eventually attack. We step in. Boom. We protect our head. We step in the clinch. We wrap and we grab. Look, the wrapping hand gets grabbed. That's my clinch. And notice how I have one of my feet outside of Eddie's foot. That's going to set me up to be able to pick that leg off when the time comes. Okay? So foot on the outside, head on the inside, on his chest, wrapping and grabbing, pulling my hips in tight. Push away, Eddie. This is just a standard double underhook clinch. Underhooks, overhooks, or under their arms, okay, around their waist. From here, here's the key detail. In this base, in this stance that I'm at, you guys, hooking Eddie's leg, it feels a little restricting because his leg is heavy and my base is too wide. So right before I enter into this leg hook, watch what I do. I do a little setup step. I bring my trailing leg closer, and I use my body to shift to Eddie's weight to this foot just a little bit by driving into him with my chest. That's going to make his leg light. So now my outside leg can hook and hold it before I take my safety step. And once I do, he falls, I descend, mount, slide into full mount. Look, then I put my hooks in, boom, hands out, hit pressure, and I got him here. And, of course, we transition into other techniques covered in other lessons. So let's all do this together, standing up, everybody. Everyone stand up. The assumption here, you're solo. Everyone's by themselves. Hands are up. Get into a comfortable stance. And all we're thinking now is just keeping distance from someone. So one leg is back. On the ball of your foot, your hands are up. They're moving towards you. You're keeping your distance. You're staying away. When they attack, hands up. Step in. Go. Boom. And wrap their body. Nice. Grab around their body. So watch this. Whichever leg is in front right now in your stance, that's the arm that wraps their, wraps their body. The trailing hand is the hand that grabs your wrist. Monkey grip. No thumb. If you use a C-clamp, they'll slip out. Monkey grip. Now, do me a favor, guys. Look, get your forearms, and I'm sorry, your triceps, and pull them into your ribs. I don't want your arms out. I want you tight, like you're pulling that person in so tight. And the way you can practice that solo is by these being touching. Boom, so snug with the hug. And your head is still on their chest. Great. So now it's time to follow. As they move, just stay in your clinch and follow. So everyone just move a little bit. Imagine you just don't let your feet do this. So move with me, you guys. We're moving. Moving, moving, good. Staying tight. Following, following. Good, stay, stay, stay. Now watch, take your back leg, do a setup step, hook the leg, turn, safety step, drop, walk, 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 mount, mount. Perfect, aquí, cool. Beautiful, let's try it again. Hands are up, everyone's doing it. Even Facebook is doing it, and YouTube, come on you guys, we're all here. Hands are up, when they attack, step in, boom, wrap their waist. Nice, pull those elbows tight to your ribs, great. You're following, stay with them. Now get ready for the takedown. Watch the trailing leg, setup step, the front leg, hook, lift, turn, drop, release, hands out, walk, walk, full mount. Once you mount, you guys, look, let's everybody lay low, put your hooks in. And do me a favor, take your hands off the ground. You should be able to float right here like a skydiver. Come on up, let's do it, base, last one. Hands up. Every time you stand up, make sure you get up in that base. We're moving. Hands are up. When they attack you, protect your face. Step in. One, lunge. Wrap their body. Nice. Pull those elbows in. Tight. Follow, follow, follow. When it's time for the takedown, everybody, back leg steps in. Front leg, hook and turn. Catch yourself with that safety step. Change levels. Walk, 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 walk. Full mount. And then put those hooks in. Your feet should be up. Your hips should be down. Your hands and elbows should be floating. Awesome, Daniel. Yeah. Awesome. Problem. Let's say Eddie's in my guard. 
Sorry, I'm mounted on Eddie. We just took him down. We just mounted. But because you haven't been doing your Zoom classes and you missed class number three, what happens? You get mounted, no control. Big boy bench presses you right off your holding and boom. Or more likely, let's go back. Here's what's more likely. Here's what's more likely. You mounted on this guy because he cut you off in traffic. And you were very offended by this. So as a result, you mount on him and now you're punching. Boom, boom. Very aggressive. Emotional battle for you. Boom, boom, boom. And as a result, he pushes you because you have no balance when you're punching. Ugh. Even though you know jujitsu, you don't know your emotions. And as a result, your emotions defeated you while you were trying to defeat them. And you fell off because of it. Let's move that way. So now Eddie's in my guard, okay? In the guard. What are we going to do? Jiu-jitsu. Step number one, don't get knocked out, which means keep them close. I bring them in right away because if I don't have a plan from the guard, what does the untrained non jujitsu person do from the bottom of the guard? He's going to be throwing punches. And I'm going to be pushing him, boom, trying to sit up, getting knocked out, trying to get, oh, my gosh. Eventually, one of those catches me and the fight's over. We see it all the time on YouTube. When the bottom person doesn't know what to do, they just try to get up with no knowledge of guard or legs or any protection or distance management. They get knocked out. Not acceptable. Not in this world. So the first order of business is this. We land in the guard right away. I swim and I control Eddie close in stage one position. The stage one is a reference to a punch block series of protective measures to keep him from knocking me out. So legs are crossed, head is hugged, and I'm close. There are many things he might try from here. Okay, Punch protection is covered more thoroughly in other classes. But today, the focus is what if Eddie from this close range starts to push off the mat to sit up? Look what he gives us. One, two, three. Hip out, and now we can break his arm. And by that, I mean dislocate his shoulder, fracture the humerus bone, spiral fracture. Many things can happen depending on their – whatever the weakest part of this arm is, I'm going to break. That's the point. Shoulder's weak, I'm going to tear it. Humerus bone is weak, I'm going to tear it, okay? I'm going to break it. So from here, Kimura. It's called Kimura Technique from the Guard, lesson number 17. And we're going to start by seeing this application when Eddie has both hands on the ground and he's just kind of in my guard in this manner, okay? We're going to start from here. And then we'll go into the detailed variation. So step one from here, wrist control. Step two, uncross the legs. We're going to all do it together. And sit up. Boom. Step three, my arm goes around. Look at this. This is the key. Around. And I grab my own wrist. When I grab my own wrist, guys, I take my thumb off the grip. Look at this. C-clamp, monkey grip. So it's C-clamp until the brother shows up. And that's when it becomes double monkey grip on the wrist. Tight. And I really keep these forcefully bent and nice, strong wrists. But notice how I went around his arm here. Now I'm going to push off both feet. I'm going to drive Eddie's face into the ground pretty assertively, pushing off this foot. I'm going to drive his face back, and down he goes. When I do that, I bend his arm, and I keep it forcefully tucked against his low back. I don't want him to straighten it out, so I'm really assertively tucking this arm. I use my leg. I trap his foot. Now I'm going to scoop my hips up just a couple times, you guys, because my pelvis is facing the sky. I want my hips to do this, turn, turn, until they're facing the wall. It's a side guard. So I'm out from underneath Eddie's body, and I'm facing the wall. Now I have my two grips, wrist and wrist. I use my side scissor. I stretch my legs, and I'm going to take his hand and drive it to the north. Watch my torso. I do this. And if I didn't have his arm, it would look like this. Stretch the legs and twist to the north. Okay? Everyone lay down. Do it with me. Come here. Everyone do it with me and Eddie. And then I'll do it solo with you guys, just so you guys have a little reference right here. So lay down with your right side towards the camera, everyone. Right side towards the camera. It's going to be easier. Yeah, everybody, come on. Come on, YouTube. Right side to the camera. Zoom, I can see everybody. YouTube and Facebook, I don't know what you guys are doing, but I hope you guys are following along. So right here, Eddie's in the guard, hand on the ground. Everyone, feet are crossed, but your feet are on the ground. It's okay. Now you're going to reach down, grab the wrist, uncross your feet, put them on the ground. Open your legs. Nice. Perfect. Good, Nona. Good, good, Rob. Now I'm going to uncross my legs, feet on the ground. I'm going to sit up towards this wrist grab on your elbow. I'm going to lift my hips up, shoot around, and grab my own wrist. Everybody go there. Nice. Okay, we're locked up. No thumbs now. Remember, it went from thumb grip to monkey grip once my second hand lands. Very important. Now pushing off both feet, I'm going to drive Eddie's face towards the ground and lay on my back. So everyone go from your elbow, throw your back on the ground by pushing off your feet. Boom, lay straight back. Nice. Now watch me. Watch my leg. I trap Eddie's leg right here. Look. Trap that calf. And now scoot your hips towards the camera, turning your back towards the camera. So scoot towards the camera and look away. 
towards the opposite wall and cross your legs over their body. Now stretch with the legs and twist north. Everybody get ready. Let's do this. One more time. Right side to the camera. Stage one. Nice. Beautiful. Stage one. Look, we're going to grab the wrist. One. Nice. Uncross the legs. Two. Sit up. Three. Go over and around and go grab your own wrist. Look at me. No thumbs. Mon double monkey grips. Take two hooks and just do this. Boom. It feels weird solo, but double monkey grips in a partnered scenario is actually very effective. Boom. Now from there, feet on the ground. Push off both feet and lay your back on the ground. Boom. Nice. And now trap the leg. Got him. Now scoot those hips. One, two, three, four. And cross your legs high and over their body. Excellent. Once your feet are crossed, everyone, stretch with the legs, stretch, 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 and twist to the body to the north. Boom. Excellent. You got it. One more time, then we'll do the, a, a variation. Stage one, everybody, come on. Together, together, together. Looking sharp, you guys. Everyone, grab the wrist. One, uncross the legs. Two, sit up. Three, reach over, grab your own wrist. Four, nice. Lay down. Boom. Trap the leg. Hip, shoulder, hip, shoulder. Cross the legs over the body. Stretch the legs and twist the upper torso. Got him. Excellent. All right, Eddie's back. Okay, so now we're in the guard. Now we're going to do another variation, which is this. It's hard to grab Eddie's wrist while he's so close to me. See this? It's just too jammed. So in this situation, we can be in stage one, and oftentimes we're blocking punches. One very common behavior from them is to push up and get away. And as he pushes off his hands, he sits up. Look at that. Now my elbow goes to the ground, and so does my opposite foot. I adjust my hips, and I lock direct. You saw what happened? He picked me up. Now it's all the same. Rinse and repeat. So what happens, if you're blocking punches from here and he sits up, it's actually called the rider variation. Look. Elbow and foot. Which foot? Opposite. So that they become my pivot points for my swivel. And now look. I go over and around. And now look. Double wrist grab, no thumbs. Got it. I keep here, double wrist grab, no thumbs. I push off both feet and I lay down. But the point is, once I sit up, my elbow going to the mat. He sits up. I go one, two. I hip out. I shoot my arm over Eddie's head. And we get it. Let's go. Everyone with me. Stage one, guard. Okay, we're right here. Eddie's going to check you guys out. Make sure you guys are dialed in. Everyone, stage one, guard. So now, using your legs for momentum, guys, everyone rock up. Look at this. And sit in a chair like this. I want you to rock up. And once you rock up and you're sitting, they picked you up, put your elbow on the near side and your foot on the far side on the ground. Put them both. Elbow and foot. Elbow down. Yeah, yeah. Good, Shayla. Elbow and foot. So I was here. I do this. Boom. With the elbow foot, I hip out, go over the head and come around and get my double monkey grips. Nice. No thumbs. Perfect. Push off the mat. Lay down, everybody. Trap the leg. Hip out. Shoulder. Hip, shoulder. Cross your legs. Boom. Stretch the legs. Stretch the legs. Twist the torso. Done deal. Come back up. Close guard. Here we go. Come back up. Close guard. Let's sit up together a little faster now. We're here. As they pick us up, foot and elbow. Everybody, foot and elbow. So I do that rock up and go right to it. Go over the head. Grab your own wrist. Nice. Foot on the ground. Lay back down. Beautiful. Trap the leg. Hip, shoulder, hip, shoulder. Cross the legs over the body. Stretch, 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 and twist. Boom. Perfect, dog. One more time. Stage one. And ride together. Right up. Elbow, foot. Hip out. Nice. Shoot over. Locked wrist. Foot on the ground. Lay your back down. Boom. Trap the leg. Hip, shoulder, hip, shoulder. Cross the leg. Stretch and twist. Beautiful, Mike. Very good. Yeah. Eddie's right here. Let's do it with Eddie. Everybody lay down. Let's ride it up. Stage one. He's going to sit up. Go. Elbow and foot. Hip and shot. Lock and throw back. Trap and hips. Cross and stretch. And back. Twist and tap. <laughs> All right. Check it out. So now, let's see the next variation. Watch this one time, ladies and gentlemen, and then we'll have you do it with me. So from stage one, sometimes Eddie doesn't sit up. He doesn't post off his hands and sit up to a posture position. So what do I do? I got to get his head out of the center. Use my guard. I stretch him back. I palm strike him here by pushing his head to the side, bring my elbow over, and I trap his head with my tricep. So his, arm, his head is buried. Here we are. Okay. And now we got him. He hates this because his head is kind of trapped. One of two things will happen. Either A, he sits up and we go right there with him and we're right back where we started. Okay. Or B, he does not sit up. He just kind of stagnates right here. But his head is still out of the center. So watch what I do. Uncross. 
foot, hip turn, elbow get up, and now catch him. So you guys see that? One way or the other, I have to get to here, sitting and wrapping. One way or the other, I've got to get to here. How do I get here? Either he picks me up or I shrimp out and I scoop myself up to my elbow on my own and then I lock it up. In either case, this all begins by me getting Eddie's head out of the center line. Um, let's rotate facing that way like this. Yeah, that's good. Watch you guys. So it begins here. I'm going to stuff his head under my opposite armpit. So I use my legs. I push him away. I push his head and I quickly trap him. And when I trap him, I use my legs to trap him as well. Because if my legs are soft, he'll slip his head back in. Got it? But if I'm here and I go like this, bring your head back in. You see? Bring it inside. Inside. He can't because I'm like staying really sticky like a little koala bear. So now he chills. Let's say if he sits up, I go with him. Done. If he doesn't sit up, look, I got his head trapped. Which foot do I put on the ground for my shrimp? Somebody? Boom or boom? Boom. Foot on the ground. Hip out. And now watch. Once I do my hip turn, I'm trapping his head. My foot goes down on the head side. Then I do my hip turn. I turn my pelvis 90 degrees. With his head still trapped, I can even grab his belt or his gi or his shirt. I can grab onto him here. It actually works pretty well. Now I'm going to take my elbow and open it up and build the house so that I'm on my side in a nice posture. There's his arm. What do I do with the snake? I wrap. Grab, grab, and I'm good to go. Okay. Now I'm going to push off my feet, lay down, trap the foot, hip, hip, side guard, cross. Where does his hand go? North. So if I have the lockup, I stretch up the legs with my torso. Full north twist, breaking the arm. Let's all do it together. Rider variation. Sorry, force variation. This is the second one. Force. Rider is when we're hugging and they pick us up. Force is when we're here. Everybody lay down right side to the camera. Yep. Get ready, guys. Use your legs. Push the subject away. Take your palm. Redirect the subject's head under your opposite armpit. So stretch, push, and wrap. Everybody. Nice. Once you get over the top, use your legs. Pull them in. Nice. Now what we're going to do is head is buried. We're going to put our opposite foot on the ground, our back foot. We're going to put our front elbow on the ground. We're going to turn our hips on their side, still trapping his head back there. Look, but here's the key. Now, using that foot and using this elbow spread, build that house. Nice. And we lay back down. Lay back down. I saw two people do this. Lay down. I saw two people's elbows down low and try to build this way. You're not going to have any leverage, you guys, because his body is here. Look at me. Take your arm all the way as high as it goes. And now build the house. It's going to be much more leverage as a wedge to stop their weight from off balancing you. From here, what are we going to do? Sit up. You're all right there. You're in the same position. Now take this arm, snake it in as you lock double wrist grab. Once you do, feet on the ground, lay back. Boom. Trap the foot, hip, shoulder, hip, shoulder. Cross the legs. Stretch with the legs, twist with the torso. Looking great, bro. Game over. Reset. Come on. Everyone's ready. Everyone's ready. Let's use the legs. Stretch, stuff, and trap and parry. Beautiful. Beautiful. You got the head buried. What are you going to do? Foot on the ground. Same side as the head, the back side. Use your foot, turn those hips. Take your arm, go north. Build the house. Excellent. We've built the house. So now what? From there, snake the arm, lock the double wrist grab right away. Excellent. Note that remember the bottom hand grabs their wrist. The top hand grabs your bottom hand. That's how you remember. Now pushing on both feet, throw your back on the ground. Boom. Excellent. Good, Paul. Good, Donna. Now hip out one, two, three, after you trap that leg, right? And then cross your legs over their body. This is your side guard. Now stretch with the legs, twist with the torso. Solid technique, Shadow. Excellent. Last one. Come on. Same thing, last one. But this time they're going to pick us up in the rider. So we're going to use stage one. We're going to stuff them away, push the head, trap it, and bury it. The head's buried. Bring your arm over the top of it. Make sure you go over with your armpit. Now look, from this buried head position, they're going to pick us up. So use your legs to rock up to your elbow. Nice. Now put your back foot on the ground, lock up your kimura grip. Awesome. Why? Because they picked us up. Thank them for the gift. Feet on the ground. Throw your back on the ground. Boom. Trap the leg. Hip, shoulder, hip, shoulder. Cross your legs. Stretch with the legs. Twist with the torso. Yeah. With Eddie now. Last one with Eddie on the force here. And then I'll show you a bonus variation that we don't normally show. Check it out. So from here, use the legs. Stretch them away, everybody. Stuff the head with the palm. Go. And trap his head with your legs and arm. Nice. Everyone's trapping it. Doing it with me. So now look, the back foot goes on the ground, turn, everybody turn, turn, turn. Oh, take your arm, remember the arm goes way north and you can start to build your house right there. It's gonna be a little work, but it's worth it. Once you're here, everyone take that top arm, snake in and grab. Nice, Doug, excellent, push off right here. Good, Pyman, now throw your back on the ground. Boom, trap this leg. Now hip, shoulder, hip, shoulder, legs up, cross, stretch with the legs, twist with the arms and the torso. Awesome, okay, so here's the challenge. 
Bonus variation. People from the guard have been getting smarter. Watching too much MMA on the weekends. So they speak the language now. They know what a Kimura is. Some of them are, li- <laughs> are watching us. Some are right now watching us. Some that's are, cool. You guys believe it or not? Yeah, that's the problem. The bad guys watch TV also. <laughs> okay, so here's the problem. If they know that conventionally the head must be cleared before the Kimura is threatened, right? This is the key understanding for you guys if you're more advanced. If Eddie knows that the head must be cleared before the Kimura is threatened, every time we clear the head, he can defend this by locking my hips, maybe blocking my bicep up here, hooking my arm. Now I can't get the Kimura because he has inside arm positioning. There are things he can do to negate the Kimura if head clearance must precede threatening the arm, okay? Because it's hard to get his arm to invert. This is when I feel good, when I have it fully inverted. But normally the time between head clearance and inversion is so long that if they speak the language of jujitsu, you're going to have trouble. So check out this variation I've been using. So from here, I'm in guard. I first will bring my knee inside his bicep. One, get to here. No Kimura threat yet. Nothing, right? Because his head's still in the middle. He hasn't, but it doesn't even, it doesn't even touch the radar yet. There's nothing flipping the radar for, for Eddie here. So I'm in here. What is he expecting right now? Probably a triangle. Boom. That's what he expects because my leg's coming out halfway. So he's like, oh, triangle, triangle. Watch what I do. One, two, three. Got it. Now we got it. So this is one of the most deceptive Kimura setups from the guard. Kimura from the guard is hard no matter what because you're folding someone's arm backwards against their will. Great technique, but it's not as easy, I would say. So this is this is from a triangle setup now. You take the psychology of a triangle defense where he's thinking of not letting my leg slip out. He thinks I'm going to come out. So instead I go the opposite. I take my knee. Look, I go in. And then watch what I do. I blast his arm to an inverted position with my knee. So it looks like this. I'm here working triangle. I go through, boom. And at the same time, I take his head and I flick it under my armpit. So it's out of the way, allowing me to go through. Because if his head were in the center, I would not be able to get the Kimura grip. I need this out of the way, which is why it's such a big detail for the Kimura. But if I'm in triangle 1.5, shoot my leg in and then blast and flick. One. At the same time, I move my knee out of the way. I insert. And now we go double monkey grips, no thumbs. Yeah. My leg is out down here. Now I use my his back to shrimp out, turn, 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 quick side guard, keep this arm tucked, stretch with the legs, twist with the arms. Okay, so let's do it one more time. You guys can lay down and do it here with me. So everyone lay down with your right side facing the camera. And what I want you to do is take your right arm and put your elbow on the ground, your tricep on the ground. Mm-hmm. Take your right knee and I want you to shrimp out and kind of wiggle your knee inside and shrimping out means to use your back foot to scoot your pelvis away just a little so you can insert your knee inside your forearm that's on the ground once you do that leg over the back and now here's the key stretch your knee until you grab this wrist grab the wrist but my shin is inside of my arm look at my arm relative to my leg look at my own relative positioning here great now take your leg straighten it and blast his tricep nice and now take his head flick it out of the way as you come over and grab your own wrist nice nice and make sure you grab the correct wrist. The elbow on the ground should be grabbing Eddie's wrist. The other swimming arm should be grab your own wrist. Mm-hmm. And now you can hip out by trapping the leg, turning, side guard, stretch and go. I'll do it with you guys solo. It'll be fun. It'll be fun, they said. Stage one, head and arm control right here. We're staying close. Everybody, elbow on the ground. Nice. Opposite foot on the ground. Nice. Shrimp the hips in the opposite direction. Hip out. Shoot your knee. Inside, inside, excellent. And now what you're going to do is you're going to push with the knee, slide back. So from here, stretch, stretch, and grab that wrist. You can even put your foot on the ground. It's okay. Grab their wrist right next to your own thigh. Nice. Now you're holding it. Now what I want you to do is slip your leg in, shoot your knee through, and once you extend it, you're going to blast them with it. Bop! And when you blast, you use your, your thigh to hit his tricep and your hand to push in the opposite direction. Boom. Nice. So the way I look at it is I'm inside, I grab, I hold, I straighten my leg to get it through, and then I blast with the knee. Pop. And now right away I flick the head, come over, go in and grab my own wrist. Excellent. Foot on the ground, hip, shoulder, hip, shoulder. Lock your legs facing the opposite direction. Stretch with the legs. Twist with the body. Boom. Looking great, Paul. Yeah. Everyone reset. Stage one guard. Stay close. Stay close. Nice, Mike. Good, Matt. Stay close. Now get ready. Elbow on the ground. Boom. Opposite foot on the ground. Good, Daniela. Foot down. 
hip away from the camera, shoot your knee inside your own forearm, right inside. Nice. Now from there, put your foot on the ground on the front side and stretch till you grab that wrist. Nice. Now use your leg, go through, and then blast and fold them. Nice. Now come over, grab your own wrist. Great. Put the foot on the ground, hip, shoulder, hip, turn away, cross your guard. Stretch with the legs, stretch with the legs, stretch with the legs. He's and happy. He's twist happy. with the torso. Yeah. Boom. That's it. Beautiful guy. <laughs> awesome. Okay. I have a proposition. We do every single move right now on the other side. Anybody down for that? Come on, Daniela. You got to vote. Okay, good. Switch around. Legs face the other way. Lay down. Let's go, Facebook. Let's go, YouTube. You guys too. Everybody. Everybody's in today. It's a party today. Right, Jasmine? Stage one guard, right hand holding the head, left hand trapping the arm. Everybody cross your legs. So what we're going to do now is the first is the rider variation, which is when the subject sits up and we ride with them. So use your legs, look, to rock up to your elbow. Nice. And then right away, uncross your legs, go over and grab your own wrist. No thumbs. Nice. Great, Rob. Now push off both feet, lay your back on the ground pretty assertively. Go. Boom. Excellent. Trap the foot. Nice. And now hip away towards the camera and face away. Cross your legs, stretch with the legs, and twist those arms north. Pop his shoulder right off. Why would you do that to someone? I don't know. Let's go. Back to stage one. Who knows? Life these days. Stage one. Now we're going to do the forced variation. Everyone, use your legs. Stretch a little. Take your palm. Jam their head under your opposite armpit. So stuff it and trap it. That's it. And I like to practice this by pushing the head and bring my actual armpit over my hand. That's a good indicator that I made it successfully. Now take that hand out. Uncross your legs. Turn your pelvis sideways, take your arm, go north, and then build the house right there, everybody. Build the house for me. Yep, we're coming up. Excellent. Now, from this postured sideways position, get ready. You're going to take that hand. You're going to snake in and grab double wrist grabs. Excellent. Feet on the ground. Good, Pyman. Excellent, Shannon. Throw your back on the ground. Boom. Trap the foot, you guys. And in my case, it's my left foot. I'm trapping their foot, and I'm scooting towards the camera as I face away from the camera. Now, cross the legs. Boom. Stretch with the legs. Twist with the body. Solid technique, Dante. Last variation here, everybody. Stage one. Stage one, face the camera with your right hand grab. Your back hand should be grabbing the, uh, the head. Your front elbow should be on the mat. So we're going to drop our elbow inside the guy's bicep, okay, inside their bicep, opposite foot on the ground. Shrimp a little bit away from the camera and slide your knee inside that pocket. Nice. Look at my forearm, though, you guys. See my forearm? It stays. My knee goes inside my own forearm. Can you guys do that? So they're touching. Nice. Now put this foot on the ground and straighten your body out, but you grab their wrist down low here. Now my hand is here. My arm is straight. Great. Holding the head. I'm right here. Take this leg, straighten it through, and then blast them on the way north. Boom. At the same time, flick the head, turn over, and grab your own wrist. No thumb, no thumb. And your leg can be out of the equation. I'm just right here now. Using that leg, foot on the ground, turn, trap the leg, hip, shoulder, hip, shoulder, cross the legs, stretch with the legs, twist with the torso. Full turn. You got him, Austin. Well, Eddie, come back in for that one just so you guys can see it. Let's do the last one with Eddie one more time just to have reference, you guys, that newer one. Everyone get ready. We'll do it with Eddie. Everyone get ready. Stage one, push away, elbow inside the bicep. Everybody elbow inside. Opposite foot of the ground. Nice. Hip away, the back towards, away from the camera, and shoot your knee inside his arm. Nice. Now watch. As I straighten this side out, I grab his wrist. Boom. Nice adjustment, Rob. Take your leg, straighten it, and blast with your knee now. Boom! And bend it. Now go over and through and grab your own wrist, no thumb. Put your feet down, trap the leg. Hip, shoulder, hip, shoulder. Cross your legs, stretch with the legs, twist with the body. Ah. Driving that hand north. Excellent. Let's get a couple questions here, you guys. Kimura's. Actually, first, let's do a full combo. Everyone, get up in base. Stand up in base. Let's do a full combo here. Everyone ready? 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 Hands up. Let's move. Here we go. Hands up. The attacker's following us. Moving around, staying away, staying away. When they attack, everyone, bite your teeth, protect your face, and step in. Boom! Wrap the body. Perfect. Stay close. Follow. 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 Get ready for the hook, you guys. Do your setup step. Do your hook, your turn, safety step, hands down, and crawl into the mouth. Boom, boom, boom. Once you're in the mount, put your hooks in, hips in, hips in. But he's too strong. Look. So you sit up the punch. Boom, boom, boom. You get pushed off. Everyone lay down. Close your guard. Quick. Nice. Lay down. Close your guard. Stay close. So from here, we're in the guard. He's punching. We just stay close. Stay close. Just hold their head and cross your legs. Just natural. 
Now they start to tire a little bit. They're tired. You feel the breathing. You feel the relaxation. Take your hand, stuff their head under your armpit. Stretch, stuff, and trap it. Excellent. Now take your opposite foot, your back leg, foot on the ground. Turn those hips. Get up on that elbow. Walk that elbow north, remember? And get up on that elbow. Force that way up, Sandy. Excellent. That's it. Build the house. Now go over, snake your own wrist. Everybody get in there lock it up. Great. Feet on the ground. Throw your back on the ground. Boom. Lay down. Excellent. Trap the leg. Hip, shoulder, hip, shoulder. Cross the legs. Excellent. Stretch with the legs and twist to the north. Broken arm. Great, Jason. It's beautiful to see you with your son, man. Very nice. <laughs> Question right here. For the last variation, do you still go from C-clamp to double monkey grips? Rishab is asking. Yes. Come over here. So from here, we go from C-clamp. Look, C-clamp. Shoot the leg. Blast it through. Come in. Monkey grips. Anytime they come together as doubles, they can be stronger as monkey grips. Not that it would be wrong to have a C-clamp, but it wouldn't quite keep his arm as bent as possible. Like an Americana arm lock. You want to have the double monkey grips for the more power. Excellent, you guys. I'm glad we had a chance to see that variation. Everyone, come closer to the camera. If you have any questions, plug them in. If not, come close. Have a seat. Close your eyes. Everyone visualize with me here. Close your eyes. Let's imagine that situation. Everyone, get comfortable. And put yourself in this situation with me. You're out here, California. Yesterday, it snowed on the beach. First time ever snow on Manhattan Beach. I never heard of this in my life. Right here. There's no snow in Torrance, from Redondo, Manhattan. This doesn't happen to us. But it was snowing. As a result, you're in the parking lot, and people don't know how to drive. Their wheels spin. They don't know what to do. So these guys are trying to park in there for the surfing. They're slipping around, and before you know it, one guy's truck turned a little bit, slid out, and dunk, it just touches your bumper. Just touches. So you get out of the car, and you go to check the damage. He gets out of the car, and yo, he's barking, profanity, laced, aggressive. And all you're thinking is, why is this guy tripping? My car was parked, and he slid right into it, and he's yelling at me like I did something crazy. So he comes at you barking, and you put your hands up and say, listen, man, I don't know why you're upset. My car was parked, and you bumped into it. I'm just checking to see if there was damage, okay? Do me a favor. Stay right there. And you have your palms up and kind of out facing him, and you're talking calmly but assertively about what you want, what you don't want, which is the right thing to do in the situation like this. Just speak empirically about what happened. He's still barking, barking. So it's this, who knows why this guy is tripping? He starts moving towards you. You start backing up. You start backing up. You're backing up. You're backing up. And before you know it, it gets to the point where you go, no, I can't back anybody more because there's a little edge right there where the bars are. And after those bars, it's the strand and the beach. And you can't back up because you're going to hit those bars. So he's moving towards you. And you say, man, it's time. You don't even wait for a punch, you guys. You shoot in. You clinch him in the body. Boom. You lock him up. And he hates it. He's hitting you in the side of the head with little bicep curls, hitting you, hitting you, not knocking you out, but just little touches. You know they're not going to knock you out. So you stay tight. And you pull those hips in so tight. As he's moving around, you're not in a hurry. You're keeping your base. You're getting ready for that leg hook takedown. But you then you're clinched so tight and the slippery snow on the ground is so crazy that you guys both slip and you collapse onto the ground. You didn't have a chance to take him down because of the unstable terrain. You fell down initially on top of him, but because you kept your hands so locked around his body, when you landed, your hands remained trapped. As a result, you couldn't stabilize by posting your hands up. You lose your balance. You end up underneath the subject. You're on the bottom of the fight now. Quickly, you recover guard. Stage one, hold him close. And he's reaching for your face, scratching. You guys can see this, the, 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 the breath is coming out. The hot air is coming out. So there's all this smoke next to you guys because it's so freezing. And you guys are fighting at 6 a.m. in the morning. And you're holding him close right there. And then you're staying close. And you're like, man, he starts. He starts breathing. He starts to relax and breathe a little. He's getting gassed. And you say, oh, man, this might be my time. So at that point, you clear his head under your armpit, and you, his head's out of the center. You're like, wow, that was easy. You shoved it out. When you did that, he hates it. He sits up. You tag along to a seated position. He picked you up. Now you post up on your elbow, and you're like, wow, the mat is much softer at home because you're on concrete right now. So you put your elbow on the mat, and you go, wow, that's got to hurt. So then you touch. You just kind of made a mental note of how much it sucks to be on your elbow on concrete. So then you reach over the top. You lock up your double wrist grab on the Kimura. You throw him on his head. You fall back. You turn your hips. You lay back on your back. You turn facing him, and you cross your legs. And at that point, you're about to rip his arm completely off because you have the angle. It's over. The fight's over. 
And he goes, ah, before you put pressure, he starts to yell because he feels immobilized. And then you have a moment of empathy. And you realize that if you rip his arm off, he won't enjoy surfing for the next at least four to six months, full dislocation of the shoulder. And then you remember, no, I learned jujitsu, not just to protect me, but to protect those who fail to protect themselves from me. And you negotiate him off of you. You laid him on his stomach. You got out from underneath him and you safely made your way back to your feet. Congratulations, guys. You don't just learn to protect yourself. We learn to protect both of us. That's why I tell law enforcement all the time. It's crazy survival tactics. It's not about the survivability of the officer. It's not only about the survivability of the officer. It's the survivability of everyone they interact with. Okay. Congratulations, you guys. And thanks for joining us. Jasmine. Okay, no worries. Thank you. Oh, let's cool. verify. Jafoy, is this one or no? No. Okay, let's bring in our friend. Adam, come on in. The champ is here. Congrats, Adam. Great job, champ. Just completed his 60th Gracie Combatives with us. He hasn't missed a class since he started. His kids are in there as well. Thanks for your dedication, Adam. Great work. We're tracking your progress, champ. Every single class. Can't wait to see you guys back on the mat. Thanks for joining us this weekend. Class number 18 on Monday. The journey continues. We look forward to seeing you there. Have a great weekend, everybody. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Good job, guys. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Welcome. Thanks. Bye. Now, Facebook and YouTube. You guys are still out there. What's up, you guys? <laughs> Let me say hi to you guys for a minute. So that was our live Zoom class. What would you think, everybody? Fun? I'm glad you guys joined it. The question is, which of you guys actually did the techniques with us since we went live and welcomed you guys to this party? I hope you guys actually did some. Scroll down. Let's see who did some. I hope you guys actually did some fun stuff with us and learned lesson number 17. What's up? We got Jonathan Gonzalez. We got Matthew. We got Juggernaut. We got Jonathan. All these. Mark. What's up, you guys? Hey, 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 hey. Chris Mason, Nick Power. What's up? Jonathan Gonzalez. Del Raz Computers made it in. Matthew Doss, awesome, you guys. SPXL, hey, Dragon. Should we ask if Allison, they have a question? Allison Gutenberg, Edward. Yes, if you have any questions, plug them in. But more importantly, uh, YouTube and Facebook world, more importantly, this was a live Zoom class. We're doing it. People are learning. Some people are on jujitsu hibernation right now. They're doing nothing, literally nothing. Okay, They couldn't be doing less with their jujitsu. Other people say, no, no, no. If we can't do partner jujitsu, we can do solo jujitsu, and the progress we're making is remarkable. Look at this, you guys. This is Adam's actual card. Adam Burry, one of our awesome students. The blue checks indicate that these are all Zoom classes. If they were live classes, they would be red. Red indicates live here in Torrance. Blue indicates pure Zoom. So Adam lives, I think he's in Canada, and he's doing full tracking with us, Gracie Combatives. Today he completed his 60th class in the column. And as you can see, each class that we do, he gets a class for that. Today he did class number... Uh, 17, right there. Okay, so he got his first check mark for class number 17. When he does 17 again, he'll get his second and his third. You guys see how this works? So we track each student's individual progress through the Gracie Combatives program. The best part is when they're done with this, okay, one of two things can happen. They can go to a certified training center and begin training and have earned credit for all of these classes. That's one option. The other option is once they finish Gracie Combatives uh, through Zoom with us and they feel very confident, the next step is to just find a training partner. Who, they've done a lot, a lot of solo, all solo. The next step is to find a training partner so they can practice all of these partnered. And it's a minor 10, 15% adjustment on the techniques with a partner and you're good to go. So we're making all kinds of 80, 90% progress on the solo so that he can easily transition into a partner practice training environment soon. And as a result, get those muscle memory, those reflexes, and then he can test for his Gracie Combatives belt, which is our beginner uh, completion uh, symbol, right? So when he completes the Gracie Combatives program, earns his Gracie Combatives belt, and that he can go anywhere. Gracie Combatives, CTC, Gracie University headquarters, and uh, he can earn that both in person or via video evaluation. The Gracie Combatives belt can be done via video. So you and your buddy in the garage can record your performance of the 30-minute test, send in your uh, Gracie Combatives technique proficiency videos, and when we see those, we're like, man, this person's dialed in, and they earn their Combatives belt. And then after that, 
You can earn your blue belt, purple belt, brown belt, black belt, but those are all live evaluations for those more advanced belts at certified training centers all over the world. Let's see if we have any questions. Otherwise, you guys, seven-day free trial. This is the most important thing. If you haven't done our seven, if you've already done it, you've already got it. If you haven't done our seven-day free trial, okay, it's available right now. You go to gracieuniversity.com slash Zoom, okay, gracieuniversity.com slash Zoom. Read about it. Fill out a small form, like answer five or six questions about your training background, brand new, no experience, whatever belt you are. And once you submit that, we'll let you have access for seven days, all you can eat to all the live Zoom classes here at Grace University. Eddie, myself, Hidon, you're in there. We do them every day, morning and night. Master Cycle, our advanced program. Gracie Combatives, our beginner program. Women Empowered is coming up next. Um, Gracie Bully Proof classes for the kids. And the best part about the kids' classes is they're not solo like it was today where we're 90% solo practice. The kids' classes are actually partnered. So the parent and the child, we are here together. We show you the techniques, how to pair with your kid and do it. Then you pair up with your four, five, six, seven, eight, 12 year old kid, and you're doing the techniques from home. Those are incredibly effective because we're seeing that kids can learn more with their parent as a guided partner than even they can in these group classes here that we have, you know, regular pre or post COVID. Now, parents love the group classes because it's like bring them to class, drop them off and peace out and then come back later and pick them up. And it's very easy for the parents. But when they're at home, not only is it incredibly um, uh, incredible progress being made between parent and child, the bond, the opportunity to get together for 30 minutes, put down a little mat or do it on the carpet and be touching and grappling and working together, parent and child. This is what we grew up with. He and myself, all my siblings with our parents, jujitsu was just the way. So there was always this hugging and contact where most families, especially in America, especially in COVID era, it's like, good morning, son. Good morning, dad. How are you? Good. Good. Fist bump. And that's the contact we had for the day. What are we doing, America? Connection, physical, jujitsu, crazy horse. So doing jujitsu with the kids, you guys, one of the best things possible. Thanks for joining us. Um, certified training centers are opening all over the world. Right, We have right now, several are still closed, about half. The other 80 or 90 are open. So make sure you check out gracieuniversity.com slash CTC to find the nearest certified training center. And if there are open in your region, otherwise zoom, it's going down, go to graceuniversal.com slash zoom, start your seven day free trial. And we'll see you in class this week. Thank you guys for joining us. It's worth it. Trust me. It's going to change your jujitsu, especially right now when you aren't doing anything and it's free. We'll see you there. Thanks guys. Bye. Bye.